Hey guys, we're just at White Rock Beach at the east end of the beach. And here I just kind of wanted to show you some of the things that you can do with this iRocker board. So as you see, this is my friend's board by the way. You can attach a kayak paddle. So you just pull that guy out, put that there. There's a cup holder that you can attach right to the little mount holder there. Dry bag for your sandals. There's also the iRocker kayak seat, which is a nice little addition for sure. As well as a little cooler and then your water bottle. So there's a lot of cool things that you could actually do with this board. Now we're gonna climb on and see how it goes. So now we have just climbed on top of the iRocker 11 all round board. And as I'm paddling, it's, it's pretty steady, I must say. It also tracks very nicely, like each paddle stroke I do, it's just nice and smooth. You can kind of see as well, the nice, um, vegetation in the clear water you can see little flatfish just swimming around doing their thing so overall right now in wavy water this actually feels like a pretty stable board like here's a stability test pretty good now before we get to more shallower water let's just do a sweep stroke Okay, that's pretty good. I never really felt too unsteady when doing it. The only thing is I did feel that it was a little bit delayed. Like I had to put a little bit more effort to do a full sweep stroke. But I mean, other, otherwise, you know, it's pretty good. Like I feel very stable just paddling on this board. Another thing I actually just wanted to touch up on is the fact that this board stability is great, especially if you just had a bit of an injury and you don't want too much play in your board. Like in comparison, my Nixie board, you can you have a little bit more play. So whenever the waves hit, there's like a, it moves a little bit more like that. Well, this one stays for the most part pretty steady. Uh, overall, yeah, I Rocker 11, really good on water performance. I do like the glide of the board as well when you're just paddling in these little waves. Again, I wouldn't say this is like typical coastal conditions by any means because the waves are a little bit smaller and it's not really too bad. Like this is actually, if you're by the ocean, these are perfect conditions to start off in almost. Very minor little waves, easy to navigate through. Yeah, overall pretty good, I like it.